Guys, welcome to Fright Fest. Thank, Thank you. you. Is this first time for you guys here? First time? Second time for me. Second time. Second, yeah. Was your first time? Yeah, 2012, I had a film here with the um, the Butcher Brothers, the Thompsons. Oh, cool. The Butcher yeah. Brothers, Amazing. that sounds terrifying. <laughs> it yeah. really does, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh, you were a yeah, vampire? I was a vampire. Brilliant. Yeah. In awesome. post, it was all in post. But, yeah. yeah. That's amazing. <laughs> yeah. Wonderful. Uh, so world premiere this morning, I've opened 24 hours. Amazing. And what was it like for you guys being here, you know, seeing it play on that huge screen across the square? Uh, it's pretty terrifying. Uh, <laughs> I don't know about you, but I hate watching myself on the screen. Really don't enjoy it. So, um, yeah, I think as actors, you're always just really critical. And you're pretty much never off screen, really. I know, so I'm literally, <laughs> the whole thing like, oh, God. But um, no, it definitely is, is so much better on the big screen. As I said before, Patrick sent me the link and I was watching on my phone in my living room and it's not quite the same. Um, but yeah, it's a lot more jumpy, a lot more scary. Even though I knew what was going on, by the end I was clutching my friend's hand, like, oh my God. Um, <laughs> That's great that you're able to like get into it still. Yeah, yes, good. yeah, even though I was like, ugh. Don't like this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you guys are you guys fans of horror in general? Are you big on sort of horror films? Yeah, I'm definitely a big horror fan. My my mum is a huge horror fan. And when I was growing up, she would play all of the classics like Halloween, Friday the 13th, Nightmare on Elm Street. So I grew up watching all of those. And so now I'm like, I'm a pretty hardcore fan. Mm. Yeah. Excellent. What about wow. you, Selena? I'm not a fan of them. I'm not. Actually. <laughs> I like I like the storytelling, like you know the you know the um, the suspense, yeah. that sort of horror. Less is more, but I don't yeah. like the gore. I yeah, the, the gore is not. Yeah. So, and this film has some pretty pretty good gore going yeah. on. Yeah. yeah. Quite a lot of gore. There's a specific <laughs> yeah. moment that's really hard. It's the to sound watch. effects and, yeah. and the visuals. Horrible. Yeah. I'm more of like a. I love the jumpy. I really like paranormal horrors, like to do with spirits and stuff. I find that really intriguing and mm -hmm. really creepy. Yeah. Or or, or I was saying, um, like uh, the idea of free floating fear, like when you look in the mirror and you think you see him and then yes, he's gone. Yes. And because I think we can all relate to that yes, in life where you, totally. you're like, oh my God. And then it just fills the room with fear. Yeah, doesn't it? exactly. And then you're on edge and you can't sleep. Yeah. So definitely. then the film's done a good job. But I'm definitely job. Not, not good with gore. <laughs> no, no. Really don't like it. So how was, the, how was shooting this film then for you guys? I mean, it's, it's, it, it, I mean, it's a gruelling film in a lot of ways. I mean, what was that yeah. like to, to shoot? I mean, I think from day one, it was just very intense, wasn't it? I mean, I literally didn't really have any time to prepare. I, I got the mm. phone call that I got the job. And then within two days, I was like, going to Serbia and starting. So I didn't really have a lot of time to prepare. So I was actually like, oh God. And, um, and, and yeah. And you were in every scene. And so. I was in it, yeah, yeah, exactly. So it was it was very overwhelming. And I was thinking, oh my God, am I actually gonna be able to pull this off? Cause it was mm -hmm. just so much every day. And, but um, yeah, it, there was, yeah, no time to relax. It was just go, go, go. But everyone was so talented and so hardworking that somehow it just came together and, yeah, no, it but was... But we were lucky, though, because because you were the lead in the central piece, you held it all together, so you we kind yeah, of... Uh, no, you did. Um, <laughs> I mean, I just came in for, like, a couple of days, and I, and, and I met you, and you were like, oh... <laughs> I was like, <laughs> it's been, you I know, haven't slept in weeks. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> but no, but it kind of was a yeah, bit like that, you like know. That, yeah. um, but no, every it, it's nice because when every new character comes on, it brings in new energy. Yeah, it's and nice. And you're like, you're... oh yes, I needed that, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah tell nice. tell me a little bit about the character of Mary then, sort of what you made of her when you sort of read her off the page initially. Well, I read her as um, obviously she has a lot of issues. Um, she's been in a psychiatric ward. She's had like a really terrible past with her boyfriend. She's seeing hallucinations. She's on medication, so she's not doing well. But she's really trying. She's really trying to move on with her life. She's really trying to just get on, be normal. And I don't want to ruin the plot, but basically that doesn't quite happen. Uh, but basically, yeah, she's just really trying to move on with her life, put it to the back of her mind. And he just keeps coming back, basically. Uh, but she's definitely on. a fighter. I think obviously she has things going on, but I feel like she's definitely a fighter. Definitely. Definitely. Yeah, yeah. yeah. wonderful. And so um, what are you sort of hoping then finally that audiences will sort of get or experience out of this when they go see it for the first time? I mean, I, the, the idea that I quite liked, um, oh, I need to say this without ruining it, but the idea of, because um, she's having the hallucinations and so you don't really know what's real and what's not real and there's a bit of ambiguity there. Mm -hmm. And so, and I think that carries on until the end. So even at the end, after everything's happened, you're still like, 
did that actually happen or mm -hmm. was that just a reason like so i think i quite like that idea that you know maybe she was behind everything or maybe yeah. it was just all a dream or not a dream a hallucination or that's the kind of thing that i liked and it kind of keeps it open-ended i quite like that idea it's not so black and white like he was the killer she was the it's all a bit okay what ha what actually happened there yeah you know? mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. yeah, um, yeah. Mm -hmm. i think yeah. it's very i think it's very clever what he does very cleverly is he he makes you sense uh, the isolation. I mean, the, the location is very isolated in itself and, and your isolation in there and your bravery and your courage and your vulnerability. Um, I think he puts us all in that in, in your shoes very easily. And I think it picks up on themes of um, uh, forgiveness, starting again, uh, mm. depth of love and control and all those sort of things. So it's definitely, yeah, yeah. Fantastic. And finally, what's next for you guys then? What have you got coming up? Um, I have another horror film coming out called Astral, which is uh, more kind of paranormal spirits about a guy who's attempting astral projection to contact his dead mother. Oof. And then all these other things come back. Sounds um, good, sounds well, good. We actually shot that ages ago, but it's finally coming out, which is exciting, so yeah. Brilliant. Selena, what about oh. you? Um, I do a, a kids show on Netflix called Greenhouse Academy. Um, and we've done two seasons and we're about to start season three and season four in October. That's Amazing. Right. Other end of the spectrum there. Brilliant. Yeah. Love <laughs> it. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. Guys, thank you so much. Thank, thank you. you for having thank us. You. Thank you.